back, everyone. I hope you've all had a nice lunch, and not to mention, did you see all the games there were? Well, I sure did, Stacy, and I absolutely loved it. Absolutely. Well, I hope you've all had fun with it as much as we did. Once again, thanks to our event sponsors, Xyrex, SMM, Faunia Rancher, Biznet, Telkomcel, and DigiKids, and to all our media partners, Compass TV, Telios TV, Atoh.com, Hot Game, Sigma, Click Game, GameStation, and Compass.com for making it all possible. Xyrex Indonesia is the original computer manufacturer which has been producing products since 1996. There is a wide selection of products such as notebook, netbook, tablet PC, all-in-one PC, PC desktops, nettops, servers, and handphones. In addition to offering affordable and quality products, Xyrex also offer a service that also qualified. With the support of 65 service centers in various regions in Indonesia, you do not have to worry about choosing Xyrex products. Xyrex, pride of Indonesia. Well, we still have another two more exciting sessions with our incredible guest speakers. And of course, by the end of the seminars, a door prize will be drawn for our lucky winner's audience, and not to mention the winners of Prada Wars. I wonder who? Our third session will now begin with a talk by the Executive Vice President of Cyber Agent America, Mr. Toshi Michi Namba, whose experience lies in the area of social game development and operation. Interestingly, Mr. Namba took studies at Gajah Mada University right here in Indonesia. One of Cyber Agent's business segment is called Amoeba. For those who don't already know, Amoeba is the number one blog service in Japan. Now, I'm sorry. Please welcome Mr. Namba on stage. Ah, Selamat siang, saudara saudara. Uh, nama saya uh, Toshi dari Cyber Agent. Pasti makan sudah kenyang, tapi jangan tidur ya. <laughs> Sampai sore ini. So, uh, saya pernah tinggal di Jogjakarta, Jogjakarta sepertan yang lalu. Lalu baru kembali ke sini lagi. Uh, saya sangat bahagia dan saya mau uh, terima kasih sama Jonasan, Chris. Uh, sama semua staff dan audience. Is it working? Oh, yeah. So, ini adalah agenda hari ini. Uh, tapi bahasa saya sudah kurang bagus, jadi saya mau pakai Inggris. Tidak, tidak apa-apa ya. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So, first half of my presentation, I would like to introduce about cyber agent, who we are. It might be a little boring because it's not related to um, uh, gaming, but another half, I will talk about Pico World, which has been pretty popular in Indonesia, and how uh, I will talk about how we expanded this business to international market. So, quick introduction. Uh, my name is Toshimichi Namba, and I'm EVP of Cyber Agent America. Um, I'm the graduate of Ritzmaker University, and while that period, I, work, uh, I studied at Gajamada University in Sastra, Indonesia. And I also worked at Jakarta Shimbun, which is uh, uh, Koran Jepang, uh, Subake Wartawan. After that, I, I, go, I went back to Japan 10 years ago and entered this company, Cyber Agent. So I was working at the agency department for four years as account planner and manager. So I was selling advertisement to all the advertisers. And then I, mo I moved into the um, United States in 2007 and established a subsidiary down there in 2008. Right now, I'm in charge of uh, this uh, social game called Pico World. 
And we were targeting at uh, United States for the first place, but we saw some user, uh, there's more user coming from Southeast Asian countries. So I went back to Japan in 2010, and right now I'm spending more time to, in Asian countries like Vietnam and of course Indonesia. So quick brief about Cyber Asian. So the company was established in 1998, and we went public in 2000. So we have five offices in Japan, and worldwide we have offices in US, China, Vietnam, and just launched Indonesia and Taiwan. So there's four main business sectors in our company. One is advertising agency, two is internet media, three is um, social gaming, and four, uh, venture capital business. So we are actually number one internet advertising agency in Japan. So um, there was a huge merge with number two ad agency and the third, and in 2009, we were beaten by them, but we made it back to uh, number one in 2010. So when we say advertising agency, we go to ad, ad, uh, advertisers and we sell like Yahoo, Google, and a lot of you know, advertisement to them and help them you know, create the creative as well as do the media planning for them. So we have this um, blo uh, blog media called Amoeba, uh, Amoeba Blog. So this is largest blog social media in Japan which is uh, ranked in top 10 most visited website. So as you can see in the picture, uh, we have a lot of you know, celebrities writing on our blog, which has been a, pre, uh, which has been a, a differentiation factor uh, in, this, in this industry. But although we have 33 billion page views, um, for for first like four or five years, uh, we couldn't monetize because you know only by setting advertisement. So we decided to enter a social gaming market. And in 2008, we started to develop games, and the one we made is this virtual world uh, called Amoeba Pig. So what you can do here is you can chat with your friends. And also you can do something like farming, casino gaming, and fishing. And this game has reached already 10 million registry users. And astonishingly, we already have 7.5 7 million US dollars per month sales within only in Japan. So what we did was, you know, there's this Amoeba blog. So we pulled all the users from there to, to, to social games. So it's kind of, you know, People usually start from social game, but we, we started from media and entered to the, the gaming industry. So we make a lot of uh, mobile games as well. And for the mobile games, uh, we're working with like mobile game, Mixi, and Gree. And we, we are doing pretty well in this industry too. So we've been working a lot with uh, Mobage to extend our service internationally as well, like like United States. So some of people might be a little interested about venture capital as well, because you know you might be raising your your money as, as well, right? So we are specialized in inter, into internet industry and mainly focusing in Asia right now. So as you can see, uh, we have track record of exit of Mixi DNA, and recently uh, Uno, one of the mobile gaming uh, publisher, has been bought by Zynga and become Zynga Japan. So these are the other group businesses. So uniqueness of our company is we don't do any M&As. So we usually develop a uh, service by ourselves and make it you know, successful. So by means of that, uh, we, you know, how do I say, um, when this new industry comes out, we are pretty confident of us you know, by ourselves getting in that industry and make that uh, business successful. So this is um, our approach to Indonesia market. Micro ad Indonesia is, has been doing internet advertising agency here in Jakarta. So we, we already have this um, largest Facebook advertising sales in Indonesian market. 
And for the venture capital uh, business, we just entered last end of last year, and we are going to we are we have a plan to invest up to eight million US dollars to up up to like six to eight companies. So if you have like you know great team and great business, you have to talk to them. And Pico World, which is virtual world service, uh, we already have 1.4 million subscribers only in Indonesia. So we set, we set Indonesia as a strategic uh, area for focus in 2012. So from here, I would like to talk about Pico World. So this is quick history about uh, the service. So in 2008, uh, end of 2008, Facebook opened its API. And at the same time, uh, Amoeba Pig has launched. And within like two or three months, it's been pretty popular in Japan. So at the same year, end of that year, we decided to make it, you know, make it playable on Facebook with English. So the launch of Amoeba Pico was 2010. Actually, we changed Ami the name Amoeba Pico to Pico World because it's easy to understand. And at, ten at the end of 2011, we already have uh, 4.8 million registration users. And actually, last month, we opened the, the, the service with Bahasa Indonesia as well. So this is some um, sample of what we did for localization. So we made, uh, we changed the, uh, the, the language, of course, and we changed the name of pig to pico because, you know, pig sounds like, you know, animal pig, right? And I, I, I'm pretty sure that, you know, um, Islamic culture wouldn't like the name. And we also changed the character name, additional facial patterns, and, you know, added more colors and those uh, eyes, eye colors, so it fits to all the ethnicities. And Actually, because you guys are, you know, developing games, our, our server is located in the um, United States, and we're using Amazon uh, for that. And I think, you know, for Indonesia, Philippines, and Thailand, and of course, US and Japan, it, it really works. But for Vietnam and China, uh, China, of course, they have this uh, great firewall, but Vietnam, they, they also some, have has some kind of, you know, uh, limitation to you know external external server. We have to put server in that country. So, this is pretty interesting number, I would say. So, 26% of our user is coming from Indonesia somehow. <laughs> Actually, we didn't do any um, advertisement, but but people love our service. Actually, um, I calculated the number this morning. And I found that 30% of our user is already Indonesia, so <laughs> people really like, love that. And I think this is a pretty um, interesting number too. Um, Apu is maybe somebody may not the, what Apu means. So it's average revenue per user. And let's say if US user pay 100%, actually. Um, Indonesia user and Philippine user start to pay like 45 percent, but in 2011 it was around 20 percent, and at you know early this like somewhere around um, March maybe it, it has grown to 45 percent. So I feel that you know the economy of Indonesia is really growing fast, and people started to pay to our service, and of course for virtual world goods, and you know, there's, I see a lot of kids you know, visiting uh, Waronet, and they're they spending their, their money to game as well, so I think this is a really, really good timing to enter uh, this market, not, not, you know, not only US or Japan, but this market is also, I, I feel really, you know, potential into it. So this is some um, demographic of um, Pico World. So mainly, the user is mainly 16 to 24. And I feel that, you know, US, okay, US user is around like more young, tend to be younger. They say, you know, the character is too cute for them. But, you know, Indonesia and Philippine users say, hey, I, I like it because, you know, I think there's some kind of cultural fit. And because we, you know, Asian people has grown with anime and manga, right? So 
they are they are kind of you know used to be those kind of and you know, uh, cute characters. So these are the BDS avatar clothes, and we are always releasing uh, 600 plus items per month, which is our you know strength of our operation. We have uh, we have more than like 10 illustrators writing our you know um, clothes and also the like the furnitures. So this is the, 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 the image of the user's room. They can decorate the room by themselves. And astonishingly, you know, even us couldn't imagine user will make the room like this. But they really, really enjoy making the room, as well as it's become you know, one of our big hit contents for us, because the user make the room by themselves. And all other users will visit their room and say, hey, hey you, you guys are great. And that will become the, the new communication for them. So some people might be interested in you know, what sells most. So as you can see, clothing and furniture makes 80% of our revenue. And when I say action, so you can purchase action like in 50 cents. If you purchase one, you, you, your avatar can like laugh. If you purchase another, another item, you can like, be angry, or you, even you can dance. So for Indonesia, um, we are working with micro ad for local promotion, and we are uh, under planning, so I can't talk, very, uh, talk details about that today. But for the local payment, uh, we are working with Indomog and GameOn and Gudan Baucha, which will be launching in 11th of June. And you know, Baba Wawan here today, uh, he always give, a, give me a really, really good advice. And he's from Grand Voucher. So if you have anything to you know, understand, maybe you should contact them. So yeah, so for local partner, we only been working with them. And for the, the, the platform wise, um, we using Facebook. So I, I feel that's pretty enough for this market. But if there's there any potential partner we should work to, uh, please contact myself from Facebook or from my email. Um, there's a lot of my users being, you know, sending me the, uh, the invite from Facebook.